Alright, so this video is going to be about the people that I hate in the gym. Because, might There are a lot of people in the gymnasium that I hate. So I'm not exactly like, you know, fucking buff as shit. But I do go to the gym every day. Well, at least I try to go every day. I mean, certain mitigated circumstances stop me from going to the gym sometimes, such as I want to stay in bed for the whole day and watch Netflix. But that's besides the point. These fucking assholes are the people that make me hate the gym when I actually go. So back at home, our gym is not just specifically for students, and members of the public can also go, obviously. Basically, though, in that gym, there are a lot of old men that also like to go. I mean, you know, power to you, like, you know, you're making a change in your life, you're trying to stay healthy and all that jazz. Good on you. I'm proud. So in this gym, these people like to, obviously, you know, go and work out, bust a sweat. Good power to you. But fucking don't. Fucking don't. DON'T walk around in the locker room naked. Now, there's gonna be a lot of fucking people in the comment section be like, well, if you're comfortable with your sexuality, another naked man shouldn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. I've seen many naked men in my time. That sounds fucking weird. However, I do not want a saggy old man. I'm just gonna give you an example of what they fucking look like. Okay, this is fucking disgusting. It really bothers me because it's just not what you want to see when you're just trying to, you know, make yourself look better because these people are just there and it makes you feel just a little bit sick. So picture this, okay? I'm butt naked. So they have a towel, okay? Think, you know, towel around the waist. Yeah, that's me. Nah, it's not what they do. They have it around here, like this, okay? Around the shoulder, fucking, I don't know, fucking scarf and shit like this, yeah? Fucking balls hanging out. I'm sat right, okay? The worst bit about this is the fact that I'm probably sat next to them, okay? So I'm like, here, on the bench. In the changing room, you know, just fucking doing something. Ooh, Facebook. And then he's here. And he's doing this. Fucking, he's got his towel and he's like... In my fucking face! Now I've came to university, you see it a lot less. However, there are some students that are way too confident with their fucking body. But it's never like... The fact that they just walk around the gym naked. It's the fact that they're always like putting their legs up on places and they're like fucking... So this next guy pisses me off so much. So I'm there, yeah, doing whatever I'm doing. Could be benching, could be bicep curling, could be staring at the girl in the squat rack. We all appreciate you. And then literally, okay, say I'm, I'm here with a weight, yeah? About to start, about to start my exercise. Lift it like this, about halfway. And guy comes over like, how many sets you got left, mate? How, how many, how many sets have I got? How many sets? This guy is the most obnoxiously fucking awful person in the whole entire world. Like, all I'm trying to do here is get my sweat on and, you know, you blatantly just seen me get here. You blatantly just know that this, this is my first set. I've just walked past you. You just literally stared at me. Go, t you, you see me sit on that bench, pick the weights up and start lifting them. And you deliberately come over and just say, how many sets have you got left, mate? Why are you doing this? Why are you that? Why do you have to fuck it? Oh, I'm getting so emotional. But, like, they're never happy with the answer that you give them. Like, if I'm about to do benching, then incline benching, then dumbbell flies, that's three sets of four reps. That's going to take me 10, 15 minutes, yeah? So if I say to him, I bear in mind, he's just seen me start. Oh, sorry, mate. They're not going to be done for another at least 10 minutes. And he's like... Oh. Oh. Looks like fucking Kevin from Kevin and Perry. Oh. That is so unfair, I hate you! Girls who have low confidence and wear makeup in the gym to make themselves feel better, but actually work out. You're okay. Girls that wear makeup in the gym, yeah? And then specifically, the specifically that machine, I don't even know what it's do. I don't know what it's called, because leg day is just not, not even in my dictionary. It's a machine where, like, you put your legs in between like that, and all you do is, like, open them like this. It's, I, it's called the slot machine in my eyes, okay? So anyway, these girls are the type of people to wear a full fucking face of makeup, full eye and eye, and a contoured to shit, and then they proceed to just literally sit there on that machine for 40 minutes. Like, I could do my whole workout, go and do some cardio, come back, go to fucking Nando's, come back, have another set of cardio, go swimming, then go into the changing room, complain about the fact that loads of people are naked, go back into that same fucking room, they are still doing that. God, gym's not cheap. It's like, what, £20 a month to go there. You are the... You are better off getting a subscription on fucking plentyoffish.com. Someone that stands in front of you and starts to lift. Oh, mate. So I stand in front of the mirror, okay? Two reasons. One, you get to see that sick pump actually happening, vein in my fucking arm starting to look like it's about to explode out my arm. And number two, so I can make sure that my form is on point. Because if you're in the gym and you're doing bicep curls like this, 
you're not getting any gains. So I'm doing that so I can make sure that I'm lifting correctly and I get to see the fact that my fucking arm boner is on point. But don't, fucking don't proceed to stand in front of me. This is a very, very wide open area and I am the only person standing here why are you standing in fucking front of me? Literally, I'll be there, I'll be like here, fucking lift away to some guy just goes, uh-huh. I'll move to the side to get out of his way. I'm like, fine, whatever, you can have that fucking area. So this moves us on to the next guy. So this is normally the guy that actually stands in front of you in lifts, okay? So he proceeds to do someone, like, he'll be doing a bicep exercise, and as soon as he puts the weight down, that's it, fucking shirt comes up, checking out the abs. Like, you've just done a bicep exercise, not an ab workout. So why the fuck you why, why the fuck are you writing your shirt, mate? I don't know which part of this pisses me off more. The fact that this guy's just sat there every single fucking rep looking at himself, seeing his perfectly chiseled abs. Or the fact that I don't have perfectly chiseled abs. It's one of them. I'm probably just pissed off because I'm jealous. But like there's so many people in this gym, like everyone's just looking at him, you look like a loser. But regardless of how ripped you are and the fact that you do look like a chiseled fucking Ryan Gosling slash Zac Efron slash fucking Jeff Saeed slash fucking you do look good, I'm not gonna lie, like ah uh, you do look good. You know, everyone's here trying to get your physique. Don't fucking rub it in our faces and show us that what we can't get. 